Hey guys, what is going on? It is Crow97 here and I am back with another Minecraft video. Uh, but as you can see, this is not going to be my usual gameplay video and as the title suggests, I am going to be showing you all how to get the new cool customized Optifine capes. Uh, so I've got some examples here, all my friends decided to come on and help me out. So we've got some stripes. Uh, a creeper face, a love heart, and also a skull and crossbones. As you can see, three of them are shaded, however they don't need to be. Um, and also you can get a bunch of different patterns. Uh, so it's not too difficult to do, but the requirements are, first you need an Optifine um, account on the Optifine website. You also need Optifine downloaded on your computer and installed as a mod um, to actually see the capes. And you'll also need to donate to Optifine to actually get a cape. Uh, so let's get into it, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Okay guys, to start off you'll need to go to the Optifine.net homepage, the link will be in the description, and once you're there you'll see an option up the top called Cape. Uh, you just want to click on that, and then it will ask you for your login details. Uh, these are just the login details which you normally use to log into Minecraft. At this point you may need to donate to Optifine if you haven't already got a cape, uh, and this is pretty simple, you just go to the donation button and follow the prompts. Before we go any further, I would just like to point out that this is definitely not a scam or anything like that. This is a usual Optifine which you'd use and I would recommend in games, uh, so it's nothing like that, it's 100% um, trustworthy and it definitely won't hack your account. Okay, so once you've logged in you'll be presented with the normal Minecraft Optifine cape page. Um, except this time you want to go to design and scroll down and instead of clicking, clicking custom which you'd normally do to modify your Optifine cape, you want to go down to the very last option which is banner. Once you select this a bunch of options will come up and the most important one is URL. So now I'm going to show you guys how to actually get the customized design and how to make your own custom designs. So to actually create your own design, you're going to need to go to a site like needcoolshoes.com. Once you're on the site, by the way, the link will be in the description for all of these sites. Um, once you're on this site, then it's pretty self-explanatory, the process of how to do it. Um, once you have actually got the design you like, you're going to want to go to the um, URL under share link and just copy and paste this into the one found on the Optifine.net site. If you can't be bothered making your own, or you just kind of want to go through and see what other options are available, um, planetminecraft.net is an excellent website, um, the link will be in the description to where you can find a bunch of different banner um, creations which are just made from players and they range by popularity. Um, so it would be a good place to start just to get a feel for it and an idea of what kind of banners you can create. So the last two options which you'll want to look at is the top and the bottom options under the Optifine.net website. Uh, what these do is they change the back colours of the Optifine cape. Um, so it's not a big deal, I'll just make it black personally, otherwise you can just match it with the colours that you have on the front side of your banner. Once you're finished, you can just click save and you will have your new and improved Optifine cape with whichever design you have chosen. You do not need 1.8 to do this at all, however you will need Optifine downloaded on your computer to see the cape. This includes anyone who also wants to see the cape, Optifine will need to be downloaded. And if you're having issues with seeing the cape, um, go into multiplayer settings and turn capes on. Alright guys, thank you all for watching and if you have any questions then please leave them in the comments and I will reply as quickly as possible. Uh, that's about it, so I hope you've all enjoyed and thank you for watching.